May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And when it comes to raising children, there is a resource called the Genius of Play. It is a tool to help parents raise healthy and happy kids through the power of play. This is Jennifer Lynch with the Toy Association. She's here to talk about the Genius of Play's new Emotional Wellness Playbook. This is so cool. Talk about this partnership. Why did you all create this playbook and why is it so important? Yeah, so there's been a lot of research out there that's shown that kids that have a higher emotional intelligence um, earn better grades, they stay in school longer, and they make healthier choices overall. And moreover, studies have also shown that having a high emotional intelligence and EQ is actually a better indicator for um, future career success than having simply a high IQ. So the Genius of Play partnered with mental health experts to create our emotional wellness playbook um, for ages three and up, and it's designed to essentially help kids kids learn to express their emotions in healthy ways. It's also a really great tool for parents that are looking to foster that healthy emotional development from a young age. And it's a really great place to start when you don't know where to start, which is often the case when you're a parent. Absolutely. It's a playbook. You can kind of give us step-by-step -step guides. I want to talk about the role of play in helping kids develop emotional skills. Yeah, so play is great for teaching kids pretty much every skill, um, and emotional skills are no exception to that. So whether you're trying to help them build resilience, um, build empathy through, you know, stuffed animal play, um, it's really helping to build their little hearts, um, strengthen their little hearts, make them stronger, and build a solid foundation for them when they hit adulthood. It's also great for relieving stress at any age, whether they're 2 or they're 12, they're dealing with stresses in their own ways. Yeah, you have some really great examples of activities uh, that families uh, can find inside this emotional playbook. Uh, share with us, share some of those with us. Absolutely. So there's five key components to emotional intelligence. It's emotional self-regulation, self-awareness, uh, motivation, empathy, and social skills. And this is all tackled through the different activities in the book. One that I really like, and it resonates with me because I'm the mother of a young child, uh, is the emotional animals activity. She loves animals right now, and she's just starting to learn about her emotions. So with this, you can explore the different emotions through animal gameplay. So get a get a set of dice, um, write emotions on one, animals on another, have your child roll them, you're going to get a combo, maybe you'll get like sad monkey, and then she's going to have to, you know, crawl around on the ground and um, act out the emotion and kind of depict how she sees it. And in the process, it's, uh, it's allowing her to start a discussion with her about what that emotion means if she's enacting it properly. Oh, that is wonderful. I love that. So you've really kind of given parents the tool that mm -hmm. they need uh, when it comes to coming up with these activities. You lay it out for us. That's awesome. Exactly. Why is it so important, Jennifer, for parents to also participate in the play with their kids? It's so important just um, in terms of my own experience, you know, when we get outside as a family together, we're riding bikes, we're blowing bubbles in the backyard. It's the opportunity to share laughter, to build those positive emotions together. And it's strengthening our bonds as parents with our children. And it's also just promoting emotional wellness for our entire family. Yeah, and I know you said your sweet girl is, is on the younger side, but these activities really kind of go up in age. What is the age range? Um, it, again, tackles everything from three all the way up to tweens and teens. So there's calming bottles, sensory type fidget toys, which would resonate more with a tween audience. Um, and those are really great for helping kids who might be struggling with self-regulation as well. Absolutely. This is fantastic information. It is a great resource for folks. We appreciate you so much, Jennifer. And if you want to download your own copy of The Genius of Play's Emotional Wellness Playbook, please visit the website, The Genius of Play dot org.